while I'm here over at Sir Robin Joel's house and he's called me over for some sort of unboxing that puts economics and comics to shame. So let's see, uh, let's see. I, I've been told he's in his trophy room. Oh, Comic Bill, so good of you to drop by. Oh, Sir Comic Joel, how are you, Robin Joel? Oh, you're good. checking your stocks? Yes, I didn't know you were coming over. Oh, I would've, sorry. I would've put something nice on. Oh, you got your smoking jacket. What's, oh man, what is that? Do you like uh, a little champagne? Uh, oh, is it celebration <laughs> truck? Comic Joel. Yes, you guys, it's the channel, you know, he seems like the sidekick, but he's actually... I, I run everything behind the yeah, scenes. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I'm doing all the work. He just sits there and collects his statues and trophies, which of course, You've already seen if you check the comic Joel video. So, so Robin Joel, what is what have you called me over in such a late oh, I, time? Oh, I acquired a new piece for the museum, and I thought you might want to take a look. A small piece? <laughs> a small, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. What do you got? Follow me to the antechamber. Oh, let's see here. What do you got here? I'm just gonna go ahead and let you do your thing. Uh, what else do you have? Oh, that? no, I, I, I have it here on, on the Oh, cool. on the, on oh the yeah, desk. what do you got? Where, tell us about it. So I... Uh, Where's it from? After, what oh, country? country or? It's from Italy. So oh, after, mamma mia. After many years of, of uh, excavating and, and digging, <laughs> I finally had my people contact some people in Italy, and we unearthed this gem. Your people, huh? <laughs> If you'd care to take a look, this is... Uh, yeah, show us what you got. Okay. What is this? It's uh, facing this way. So. Are you ready? Well, I'll let you, I'll let you pull it up. Pull it up. Are you not touching You don't me? let me pull it out? Is that, is that what you said, Kong Will? That, that doesn't <laughs> sound like you. Calm down. Oh, my God. Comic, maybe we should... should I? Oh, my God. Comic, Joel. Robin Joel has now... He now owns Economics and Comics. Oh my god. Look at that oil. Oh, it's so hard to capture on the camera. There you go. Oh my god. So what is this, Joel? This is uh, an original oil painting from Lucio Carrillo. This is Vampirilla number 12, cover A, guys. Wow, what an interesting size. It is not an 11 by 17. No, it's... I get. I guess it's uh that is not a european size joel oh it's not so no. it's just some random well it's so it's on guesser board so it is a different kind of a thing it's definitely not a3 though it's extremely long <laughs> that's what she said i want to be careful just in case i don't want to drop my let me put make sure i hold the phone good wow dude i've never seen his work in person yeah i was actually uh i was very curious to see what it would look like in person because his comic covers look pretty good, but I thought maybe uh, the, the in person it wouldn't look as vibrant as it does on the comic. But I think oh this no, looks, this is yeah, way this, better. Yeah, this looks way better. This is better than the comic, even though they glossy it up. This is like the true oil painting, right? Yeah, and you can see all of the texture and stuff in there and the layers. Pretty that, I mean, look when you look close. God, that's amazing. Plus, uh, you know, only us in here you can smell the oil. Yeah, there, I can so. smell it. <laughs> So can you tell us a little bit here, I'm gonna, is there somewhere you can maybe stand it up? Yeah, we could talk a little. Man, you guys have no idea how hard it is to get a piece like that. I'll, give, I'll let Joel explain it a little bit to you. But he has surpassed the sickness today. I mean, the sickness. Well, maybe if you sit next to it, I can <laughs> sit here. Well, I, that way I can ask you and they can see at the same time. So, so what exactly, when did this process start? Actually, many, many months ago. So, uh, Perio was doing a, uh, like an Indiegogo or a Kickstarter for a Red Sonia painting. And, uh, or actually it was for a Vampirella painting. He's now, his most recent one was for Red Sonia. But so many, many months ago, he did one for Vampirella and the top tier 
you know, it's a similar to like the Lady Depp campaigns where there's tiers. The very top one was to buy the, the original oil painting. Um, and so, but that sold out right away. So of what campaign was it? It was for a Vampirella uh, comic book cover. Okay, so it was yeah. just for one though. It was for, uh, yeah, it, it's for one, and it, they did it similar to how they do, where there's like a, a regular, a black and white, and a virgin, something like that. So how does it work out? Because this, if you guys have never seen Lucio work, he shows it in the studio, and then he... Yeah, if you follow, him on, if you follow him on Instagram, he shows you his process. Like, uh, so, okay, so from that point on, you've learned about how it works. So... You were put on a list. You didn't get to pick exactly what you wanted. How did that work? No. So, uh, so what I did is because of that, I thought, that, you know, this may be a way out because I really want an original from him, and uh, it's I guess it's really difficult to get like to commission a piece from him. So, I ended up finding out how to contact him and uh, asked if there's a way I could buy uh, an original from him. And he do, he sells his stuff so fast that there's re, he, it's not like he has a bunch of them laying around for, uh, for sale. So he said, what to do is, as you're seeing like the, the, his Instagram as he's painting them, or as you know the comic books are coming out, contact him and see if they're still available. Because you kind of have to get one that hasn't been released yet. So like for you, if we're watching an FOC video and you see something coming out in a month that we finally see the image for or yeah. something, that that would be one that maybe is still available. But, yeah, like you know, an some, yeah, so yeah. Because once he starts painting them and everything, somebody's probably going to grab it real fast. So. Yeah, uh, and, you know, Lucio is, in my mind, the, uh, the, uh, my two favorite artists are Lucio Prio and Ryan Brown, and they're extremely similar, mm -hmm. where I would consider them both to be like a master status of art that you would see in a church or something in yeah. some well, sort of, you know, yeah, Italy uh, and Europe. It, very you know, few people do oil paintings yes. in general for comics anyways, so yeah. But you, Joel, you really struck out. Now you asked for this, or you got lucky to get this. Well, what I did is I looked at, watched his Instagram, uh -huh. and I saw him doing the preliminary things for this, and I saw some of the colors, and I thought this is going to be amazing. So I I reached out early and said, "Hey, is there any chance this one's still available?" So what's so interesting about this, you know, and of course, I know there is some glare, glare here, but that's okay. Is that this is one of the rare pieces. Where if you straighten it up more, there won't be as much clear. Well, I mean... Okay, I don't want to mess with it. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Of course, that's much better. This is one of those rare pieces where she's smiling. You never see her... I, I don't remember seeing her smile that much. And it's yeah, more of a, a... Just a beautiful... I mean, of course, you have a demon in the background, <laughs> yeah. which is a nice addition, and it makes it totally different. But, you know, she's drinking blood and it's dripping down her face and the colors and the I, the colors are amazing yeah just in person this is amazing i also really like the subtlety of the vampirella costume yeah because it's, you, you it's know it's more it, like a handmaiden like the top yeah it's almost like a like a maiden in a italian village or something like oh, a, yeah <laughs> like maybe even in a um, you know in a bar a barkeep or something like she's yeah. Uh, I don't know, but you can see the vampire there. It's almost like a period piece, yes, sort of looking. Exactly. And that's why. That's but but, why you, but she has the. Yeah. You know, he does those things on her all the time, and. Yeah. But that's why I put him in that category, uh, as like a master. It's like you said, oh, yeah, period piece. Yeah. Like when I see his stuff, and I've been to Rome. I don't know if you've been there or not, but I've been. I've seen things in the Vatican and the Louvre and all that. And I mean, when you see the artist in it, this is it. Like yeah. this is top line stuff. So, like if they, if they were alive, I think. Yeah. Like, well, hey, I, I hopefully you'll eventually get to you know interview him and talk to him. But I'd love to know like how he was trained. Was he you know tra yeah, classically trained? Like, like you know yeah. So so that's in. Did the he works. study all of those you know famous paintings and sculptures and all that stuff that they have over there in Italy? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So that's in the works, though. You know, we had I've talked to Carla. And he was on there, and then you talked to him, and I I talked to him on email. So we're trying to work it all out, but he's agreed. Mm -hmm. So we will have him on, and maybe you can jump on too or whatever. Uh, but he want you know he wants to know what we're gonna you know I, I'll figure it all out. But I really want to learn everything about well, him. Well, I would also love to just know like his inspiration for this piece because sure. because she's not in you know like it's very this one very much it does not There's uh, a look like the regular Vampirella. Well, uh, you it's still and, her. Oh yeah, yeah, you no, know, for sure it's still her, but the, it's yeah. definitely different for for sure. Yeah, that's really amazing, man. I'm really happy. That's why I jumped on this one because yeah. it's so much different from the other ones. 
it's I'm congratulations, man. This oh, is thank a, you. something that, uh, of course, I think any collector or Lucio Lucio fan would want this in their collection. I mean, it's so difficult to get a piece. Yeah. And I mean, shipped perfectly. I gotta say again, I'm not exactly sure of the measurements, but it's extremely long, which is wonder. I love it. Um, yeah, it's an unusual size. It'll, it'll be interesting, like the framing. Like, how will I? I'll probably have to do a much larger frame and get a, a mat and everything for it. But. If I was you, Joel, I would go to Dynamite and order the uh, limited version cover of that. It's probably fifty bucks, but I know you're probably just gonna frame that on its own. It deserves to be on its own. But, uh, you know, you could have, like, the, the actual comic, too. Yeah. But well, this I, is the real this version. Is, yeah, who cares? <laughs> like, really, who cares, honestly? Such an amazing piece. I'm always trying to get original art. I only have, like, one cover, and it's, you know, it's pen, you know pencil and ink. But when you're talking about an artist of this caliber, it's oil. <laughs> yeah. And it's amazing. So, really, man, congratulations a lot. And uh, Sir Robin Joel has now owns Economics and Comics. And uh, we'll see where that goes from here. He's no longer. It's, it's now a competition. <laughs> You're gonna have to keep one up in each other. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna keep you one. But uh, amazing! Congratulations, and we'll end it with that. Thank you, Comic Joel. Oh, thank you, Comic Bill. And uh, cheers.